Rewind, brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. And Rewind, we celebrate and talk about, I also call it the Feeling Old segment. We talk about the movies that are turning 10 years old this week and the movies that are turning 20 years old this week. Let's start off with the ones that are turning 10. The films turning 10 years old this week are... Chicken Little <laughs> is turning 10. I cannot believe that was 10 years ago that came out. And Jarhead, also I cannot believe that was 10 years ago. Oh my goodness. Okay, turning 20 years old this week, we have the classic um, Baldwin and uh, uh, <laughs> what's what's the model? Cindy name? Crawford. 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 Dare you, Cindy sir. Crawford. Classic Dare you. Bear Game. We have Gold Diggers, The Secret of Bear, uh, Bear Mountain, and a movie that I actually quite like very much, Home for the Holidays. So, Christian, let's start with you. Yeah. Which of these films stand out to you? Fair game, baby. Uh, <laughs> I was a huge Cindy Crawford fan. I still think she's one of the most gorgeous women to ever step foot on the earth, and I still think she is. Uh, and so I was very excited when I was a young one to see her in the theater. And boy, was it terrible. It's so bad. <laughs> so bad. It's <laughs> such a bad movie. But, uh, you know, it was Cindy Crawford. It was the first and last time she's ever acted. Um, and the Home for Holidays, I agree with you. I really enjoy that movie. It's one of those movies that whenever we have, like, a holiday movie special or we talk about holiday movies, that one's always brought up. And I think it's kind of an underrated hol holiday movie as well, too. Yeah. Not enough people talk about it. If you haven't one checked it out. One of Holly Hunter's best performances. I agree with you for sure. Um, and then... Chicken Little, it's Mel Gibson, right? Isn't Mel Gibson Chicken Little? No, 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 that's uh, Chicken Run. Chicken Run. Who's this in is, Chicken this Little? This is uh, Scrubs Boy. Um, Zach, oh, Zach uh, Braff. Zach Braff. That's, oh, you know what? I've never seen that. I was thinking of the other one. So you're thinking of Chicken yeah, Run, which Jar is more than 10 years yeah, old now. Jarhead, I remember thinking, uh, being very excited for it when it came out, and I still think the performances are great in that it's film. Jill Hall in that, right? Jill and Hall, Jamie Foxx. Yeah. I was just a little let down by the film in general. I mean, when I saw it, I haven't seen it in a very long time. I think it's one of those movies I'd like to go back and revisit. I thought uh, Chicken Little was a fun little movie. It, it certainly it wasn't great. I mean, I, th I thought it was okay. Jarhead, I'm exactly with you. I thought the potential exceeded what it actually yeah. was. It could have been, like, really exceptional, especially with the performers in it and stuff like that. Um, fair game, though. That was the movie that was strictly made on the idea that we can trick enough people in the public to buy tickets to it in the hopes of seeing Cindy Crawford, A, naked, and B, having sex. Got me. And make a poster. <laughs> yeah, and it got a lot of people. Make the poster look like it's all sexy, something. that The whole movie, that whole movie got greenlit based on that principle alone. And Home for the Holidays was actually, you're right, it is. Somebody asked us the other day, actually, maybe it was yesterday. On the show, somebody asked, like, what are some of our favorite Christmas movies is, and that should have probably been on our list up there around there somewhere. But what stands out to you, Schnapp? Absolutely nothing. Because <laughs> this is one of the first times we've done a rewind where all five of those films I have not seen. Wow. Really? Like, yeah. Gold Diggers? The nope. Secret of Bear Mountain? Yeah, Secret. I was, it was on my list for a long time. <laughs> Secret of Bear Mountain. But, uh, yeah, surprisingly, no. And, of course, obviously, I've seen the trailers for Jarhead, Chicken Little, Fair, Gra Fair Game. Absolutely zero interest in seeing any of those films. So I was like, I just never saw any of them. But uh, of all five, if you ask me if I had to see any of them, I would definitely see the Holly Hunter one because I think she's a great actress. I, I got people on the chat board saying, send Chicken Little back to Marvel. Anyway, what's that? <laughs> uh, no, I said you should check that out. Yeah. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.